Good afternoon, welcome to the shed. Uh, apologies for the state of me, I've been tidying up once more. Do a lot of cleaning in the shed. Um, so I thought I'd just do a short video just to show you some of my latest finds from the local market. So they have a, a Friday market, have a, quite a lot of tools, it's a lot of house clearance, stuff like that. So um, I found quite a few bits lately, so I thought I'd just talk you through them, see if you like that kind of, sort of thing, just really a bit of an experiment. So what have I put, this is two weeks haul here. So today, I bought three chisels. I've got a Wilkinson's. Not sure if that's a Wilkinson's, same as the Wilkinson sword, probably. These all seem to be made in Sheffield. That one's an unmarked one, and this one is marked Swift and Sons. That looks quite a nice one, that one. I don't know if you can see that label. Just try and get that paint off, but I won't take the label off. So that's three chisels. I bought a saw today, which is also Swift and Sons, so I'll have to look them up. That's actually quite in not bad condition. So we'll do a little clean up on that. It is missing the button thing here. I'm not sure if there's supposed to be something going through there or if it's just a button on there. But it's nice and stiff. It's nice and straight. Just needs a sharpen and a clean. So we'll do that one. Um, last week I bought this one, which is quite a nice one, but it is twisted quite badly. I don't know if it's worth doing that one. Probably will, but uh, maybe off camera do that one. I'll maybe do those two as a pair. I bought a mallet. Uh, I bought today another record plane, number four. Bit of a state, but I'm going to turn that one into a scrub plane. Uh, I only learned what a scrub plane was about a month ago, but now I need one. Um, so yeah, a scrub plane is basically with a sort of scooped, scooped blade so you can dig out large amounts of wood quickly. Scrub it out basically. Uh, yeah, so that's a number four, a record. We've had one of those before. I will do a clean up, a light, I don't think I'll, that doesn't even need painting, that just needs cleaning really. So I'll clean that one and I'll sharpen it using the grinder to have a uh, curved blade. Uh, on that subject, I bought another blade. Most of these things I'm paying about a pound, so I pay about a pound for a chisel, pound for a blade, four quid for that, or five quid, it might have been actually a quid by the way, to the American viewers, is like a, a buck, a pound. Uh, and then I bought this blade, which is a meaty, meaty thing. No idea what it's for. A big plane, I'm guessing. But as it's such a good bit of steel, I thought I'd buy that. I don't really know why. Uh, and that says on it, Hernshaw Brothers, Castile Sheffield. And then it says John Bull in the middle. Don't know if you can see that stamp. Actually, you can see it. That's quite good. Let that focus. So that's an interesting piece. No idea what I'm going to do with it. Um, last week, I bought a spoke shave because I need one. Again, bit of state. All of this stuff has got wet at some point. Uh, and I think I showed you this one before. So this is a um, sliding bevel gauge for you doing your angles. And it locks there. Quite a nice one. Wooden handle. I've let it dry out now, it looks all right. It says on there, DA Bedford. I don't know if that's the guy's name or if that's a tool maker. Now I know you can buy these on Amazon for five quid, but there's no fun in that, is there? Much more fun to find one for a pound, do it up and put it in your collection. There you go. And finally, Cyril, I bought this, which is a leather punch. I've no idea why I bought this, but every time I see one, I think, oh, I wish I had one of them. So I've just got to find some leather to punch now. Okay, that's it. That's a little tool roundup. Let me know if you like, if you're interested in uh, my market purchases and I'll carry on. I've actually bought too much now. Uh, so I'm at the point where I need to just get on and refurbish these. So there'll be some short videos for some of the little ones uh, and some longer ones for things like the saw and the plane. Um, yeah, uh, I've also got a lamp which is coming up soon. I'll probably do that a bit later today. Um, and that is a sort of draftsman's lamp that I bought again on the market paid too much for it but it's really really cool I'll show you that how we clean that up and I'm gonna to have to make that work because it's not working okay I'd be very happy if you would subscribe um, like 
leave a comment, that sort of stuff, um, and let me know. Just let me know. Are these? Is it, are you interested in this or not? Or is it a waste of time? Great. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon. Bloody hell, I did that in one take. <laughs>